Visiting with some of the honorable attorneys from uh, the Bryan Law Center, Paducah, Mayfield, and Louisville. In fact, they're all honorable attorneys, but just two of them on tap today. They are Mark Bryant and Tyler Brown, and uh, we are talking today about what appears to be a new mass tort, Mark, and this is something against Ozempic. Tell us about that. Well, Dave, it's kind of, it really is very interesting because you see so many people are taking uh, Ozempic for weight loss, uh, and, and those that are doing it with impunity, that's great. But there are a lot of people that are taking it and get what's called gastroparesis. And gastroparesis is a, uh, a freezing of, of uh, basically, it's, it's uh, of your stomach. It freezes uh, the, all the food that goes into you. It stops it from going into your small intestine. And sometimes uh, it just causes uh, severe problems. Uh, and I have, I've made a list of them that I think I sent, all, I, I sent it out here to you, Dave. But basically if you get this uh, and you get uh, gastroparesis uh, it causes vomiting uh, you know lots and lots of nausea and uh, as a result of that there are a lot of people that are filing lawsuits over it uh, because uh, you got you've got it's not just a one-time event I mean it has to happen over a period of four weeks or more and so it's important that you go to the doctor when you do that but if you do and you've had it for four weeks or more and you took it for uh, for weight loss uh, then a, a lawsuit can be filed and we expect that there'll be a, you know th there'll be a substantial amount of money to those people that have suffered like that and there's just a whole lot of people I mean we, it's unbelievable how many we how many calls we get before we've even been on television uh, but there are a lot of people you, you you have to know Dave that it can't just be you took it it's got to be you took it for weight loss and you can't have had gastric surgery, bypass or anything like that in order to do it. And so uh, uh, we're filing lawsuits uh, and representing an awful lot of people already. Well, uh, you, you mentioned the graphic. I'm not sure if we have yeah. that on tap today, but I did make some notes as far as uh, some of these symptoms. You said it may cause nausea, vomiting, yeah. abdominal bloating, abdominal pain, severe dehydration, acid reflux, malnutrition, as well as weight loss. And, uh, and you say you, people who may qualify for the lawsuit, uh, you did specifically mention that if you've had the gastric bypass surgery, you don't qualify for that. Exactly. No, you do not qualify for it. It's only, you know, it's only people that took it for weight loss and have not had any of these gastric surgeries. Uh, so you got to have weight loss is the reason that you took it. And then in addition to that, you've got to have been sick for four weeks or more, vomiting. And it's important you go to the doctor in order to prove this case, too. too. So if you have those problems, go to the doctor and explain it to him. Someone wants to know how long does a malpractice suit last? I guess I, they're probably asking how long does it take to resolve? Well, this isn't a malpractice suit. This is a suit against the manufacturer, which is a products liability case. And we do this all the time. I and mean, we just finished a case with 3M that we settled for $6.1 billion on cases all over the country. And it took uh, uh, almost four years to get that done. This case will take a considerable amount of time, but eventually uh, we expect to, uh, to prevail in this. Hey, coming up in part two of today's Local 6 Legal Line, we'll continue with any questions you might have regarding uh, the potential lawsuit against Ozempic, and we'll also dive into what is Casey's Law. We'll talk to Tyler Brown about that. That's on the other side of the break here on Local 6 Newtown.